Hey everybody, it is Greg the Garage Guy with another episode of Laughs and Fun. Today what I'm going to do is on my Toyota Tacoma, I'm going to put in a, a pop lock. Okay, so it's going to be a um, electrical locking mechanism. Um, because right now the only way that you can lock this tailgate is with the manual key. And so this is gonna go in and this little servo here opens things and closes. So it goes back and forth like that. It'll attach to something underneath in here. Uh, the pop lock uh, made right here in Wisconsin, it looks like. Yeah, Green Bay, Wisconsin. And it comes with some zip ties. Uh, this is the mechanism that uh, goes all the way up to the cab. And uh, in the cab, we've got uh, this uh, section right here that kind of hooks up um, to this little area right in here. Well, I guess I'm going to have to open that up with two hands. But uh, you plug it in right here. This hooks up to these, blue to blue, green to green. And then we re put this in the, uh, the actual uh, electrical connection up front and uh, pull the old one out, put it in here. So uh, a nice old T connection here. This comes in for this area right down in here. Uh, we're gonna pop these uh, grommets out because they've got uh, just the one pass through and I need another pass through for this to go uh, right in there. So we got two of those. This takes it from underneath to um, uh, uh, from the tailgate and then underneath the, uh, the bed. And then this, of course, is going to go in. Now, I've already taken out all of uh, these with, uh, what was that, uh, a number 30 Torx. And uh, then I'm going to replace it. Uh, I've been going back and forth because I've been hauling rocks. Uh, looks like I got one more. But I'm going to go ahead and put back in my, my little Billy uh, uh, tailgate mechanism, which has some nice features in it. So anyway, that's my project for the day. Working back here, tying things up underneath. And then it's going to come up right through here. There's a, a grommet right there. I can feel it. Uh, so I'm going to have to take this piece out, pull up some of the carpet, this piece, and back in here is where all of the electrical connections get made. Should be a fun morning. Heard some people take them about an hour to do this. Um, we'll see how long it takes me. Uh, generally takes me a lot longer to do stuff. Anyway, let's have some fun. You know, we're just going to... Slide that down, open that up, open it up, freeze everything up. Right now that we got that done, we can see the inside and we can see where this is going to go. We've got a screw right there. And we're going to replace that with this one. It's a little bit longer, so it goes on down. Now, some people will tell you to take this out on both sides. I'm going to just see if I can't slide this in. There we go. And so what you can see is this is going to go up. And that's kind of your locking mechanism right there. So I need to take that, need to take this out and we should be good. by the way. Okay. 
so you can see that where I took it out I'm just going to put it back in and we want that to be you know a little bit bigger because uh, uh, that was awful tiny and so this one is, is tall and we'll just kind of hand tighten that in the mechanism in there it's working real nice so there we go once again you see that and then we're going to see this now we're going to end up tying this right in here when we put that other clip in right and so we'll see we've got uh we've got the female end here we're going to clip this in and then we're going to bring it out right back there so let's go ahead and see if we can't get these uh, uh old grommets out but you'll see you want to pull these back and then kind of lift out i was pushing in and that just wasn't working so well all right this one was easier i just went and got my big old screwdrivers and pried it on open and then you can see on this side you just uh lift this end up right there and that opens up and now let's see if you can see the difference between the old one that just simply had the one the old one here and the new one that's going to go in also giving me uh, area for this this extra cable that I'm going to thread through all right so we're coming in let's put this down we're coming in we're going to put this right on this kind of uh, it's got a lip or a catch-all or whatever we're going to put those on in there we go squeeze it nice and tight the uh, green membrane goes through and so now we're going to pull this out and maybe you can see right down here Okay, so I'm going to pull this out and then I have to fish it through right down, right down in here, okay? All right, so we fished that through. Okay, let's put some of this back and then we can tie this off in here when we're all done. Because before I start tying things off, I'm going to come back and make sure that all of this works together. Okay, we're up underneath and we can see the hole that we put this through. And we're just going to continue to run that. Now, down there, we're going to follow pretty much this as much as we can all the way up. So, I'll be back when I get that done. But for right now... What do I need to do? I need to put this in there and clip that on. And so we can see we've got and maybe we want to pull that out a little bit more. But we've got to find this, this little grommet which should be back in here someplace so once I find that I'll show it to you all right so we can see that there's the grommet and I had brought things underneath backed around and then uh, almost gone a little too far but I think this is fine pulled that on up put that in and uh, that should be good on the inside then it comes in and I chose to run it right through the channels underneath this and keep this as absolutely protected as possible while I come in and then start working on grabbing this particular uh, piece out, which is what that will replace. So, okay, we are almost there, folks. Started playing around with things. Came on out and I took the negative uh, off just so there wouldn't be any electricity. OK, 
Okay, so let's go in and let's pull this one out. I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna push in right in here and that should have that just pop right on out. And this is gonna go in here. That's gonna go right there. All I gotta do now is bring these out, blue to blue and green to green. So I'm gonna take some of this uh, uh, um, coating off, plug them into here, plug these into there, that to that, that to that, and we should be good. So I've got that stripped back a little bit. We've got blue in and green in, and we'll put those all the way on up. And of course that's what helps make the, the connections in here. So we're getting those up. They're not coming out. We're making, we're making good connections in here. Yeah, it sure looks like it. If we have to push those up a little bit more, we will. And now we're gonna do blue and green here. So we find blue, we go to blue. Kind of like a USB, never put it in the right way first. Green to green, told you USB. Okay, we've got those nice and tight. Now, we can put this in. Of course, I'm gonna line that up right here. I'm gonna put that in, we're gonna line that up right here. And then, dun da da da. All right. So now, gotta get my keys, and we gotta put that negative back in and then see if that works. We'll kind of put this all back together, cross our fingers. All right, the moment of truth. I put the uh, negative back on, and uh, now let's see. <laughs> it's locked, unlocked. Locked. Ha <laughs> ha! Greg the garage guy. Everybody, everything's back into place. Nice and neatly tucked in. Back here. Got this really nice billy bar thing in and there we go. And we're locking. And we are unlocking. Thanks for watching.